How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a tips and tricks tutorial video for Paper Mario the Origami King on Nintendo Switch. Today's video is teaching you guys everything you need to know about getting the legendary Cheap Cheap and the legendary blooper within the game in order to get the Fish Finder trophy over here. Yeah, if you guys are looking at 100%ing the game, then you're going to need to know this information. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have not already seen my main channel, we've been going through and doing everything within this game, and we did a true 100% on it. Thanks so much for enjoying it. If you guys can see right over here, these are our two playlists on screen. We did the full on live walkthrough, completely blind all the way through, it was great. And then uh, we've got some tips and tricks tutorial videos that you guys can definitely take a look over there as well. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome. All right, so the Fish Finder Trophy. Yes, it's amazing, it's cool. But let's actually show you guys exactly how I got it. And it's going to be great. Whenever you get these two legendaries, you're gonna be able to put a little print in your museum. And I'll show you guys what those look like. So it's kind of fun for museum completion. Right over here, this is exactly what it looks like for the legendary Cheap Cheap Monster Fish of the Great Sea. And I caught it on, on Full Moon Island. And that's exactly where we're going to be going. And likewise, the legendary blooper is right over here. Another 400 centimeter one, pretty big. So. That's exactly what you're going to be getting whenever you complete them. That's awesome. I like it. It makes it even better. So let's show you guys exactly how to do so. Now you're going to need to play the game all the way up until the purple streamer, which is going to be the fourth world in the game. If you guys have already done the entire Great Sea exploration, then you guys already know where Full Moon Island is. Those of you guys that have not visited this yet, just keep on playing the game naturally. There's no rush to get this thing at all. The rewards that you get for this is just the measly trophy and the two prints inside the museum, so it's nothing story locked. It's just kind of extra. So anyway, uh, open up your sea chart. We're going to go all the way over to Full Moon Island, which is going to be over in F3. So uh, yeah, let's head on over to F3 and uh, head over that way. Now inside the game, there are three different fishing spots. And I feel that this one has access to both of them. That's why we kind of went over here. I didn't expect to get a blooper in the first fishing spot within the first world. And I definitely did not expect to get, um, you know, a blooper in the second one in the Shogun Studio area. So anyway, uh, traverse the rocky terrain over here. And we're going to go over to Full Moon Island in just a little bit. Yeah, we just overshot it. No worries. Do a little U-turn. And here we go. Full Moon Island. Done. So... Now that we're here at Full Moon Island, all you have to do is go fishing. And there's a little trick that I'm going to teach you guys in order to get the spawns manipulated so that you're going to be able to get the specific fish and or giant blooper that you want. Now, the beauty about fishing in Paper Mario is it's not exactly like it is in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You don't need fish bait or anything like that. All you have to do is go over to the pole, you press the A button, you click on Start Fishing, and then all of these spawns are going to be pretty much popping up like that. And I would honestly suggest holding um, or taking motion controls off. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but anyway, we got a big fish over here. This one looks gigantic. So you want to be able to aim your little um, line pretty much in front of him. So I kind of like woke him up, but it's got to be like in front of his eyesight. Now you don't want him. There we go. He'll see that one. Really? He's not seeing that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, despawn! All right, so that's <laughs> that's a prime example of how you have to be good at aiming your line. So, um, like I said before, turn off motion controls. We're gonna stop right now. I'm gonna go over to menu. Dang, dude, that's rough. All right, so go over to menu. Uh, turn off motion controls. It's exactly like that. Done. Motion controls off. Because if you're putting motion controls on, you gotta like flick and you gotta move. And in the year 2020, I don't think anyone likes motion controls. So anyway, turn that off and then come over here. Now, what you'll also notice is you have full reign of moving Mario in a circle. And it's really just pressing and holding the A button to go really, really far out there. And if you didn't get it, then just press the B button to reel it in. So that's a pretty basics of how to get the fish. Now, I'm going to go off of my anecdotal evidence of what I did in order to get these fish going. I was under the assumption that you had to have some sort of pity rate. If you guys remember in Animal Crossing, if you catch 100 uh, fish, then you unlock the ability to get a certain fish um, to spawn. That's uh, actually programmed within the game. It's really weird. I'm, I know that some of you guys don't realize that, but that's the case. 
Um, so I thought that there was some sort of built-in pity rate, like, hey, you have to catch 100 fish in order to do it. And uh, that's not the case at all. It's just random spawns. You press the A button whenever they bite. It's very much like Animal Crossing, and you're done with that. So uh, we got a small baby here. This is great. But here's the trick that you guys are going to employ. When you take a look at these six spawns in this area, you're going to find out whether or not you like that big uh, shadow or not, right? And then you're going to leave the area and you're going to start fishing again. And it's really just respawning these six to see what you got. Now, right over here, we've got this gigantic blooper. I'm going to see if I can get him. Uh, I'm not sure if I will, but there we go. And there we have it. Boom, look at that. <laughs> you got a blooper. Dang, it's plain to see that this one rules the Great Sea. So this one was me catching the legendary blooper a second time. So that's great. I actually got that on camera. How, how awesome is that? No cuts or edits needed. Um, but that's really what you're going to have to do. It's really just dumb luck. I got the... I, I actually had the <laughs> the blooper on my line, but I couldn't nail him. Um, but anyway, within you can see over here, I did that within, what, two minutes of this tutorial video? So what you want to do is you want to find the... Um, you want to find that shadow. If you don't see the shadow within your six spawns over here, just go over to start fishing one more time, and you'll be able to see some bigger spawns that show up. Right over here. This could be the big one again. I don't know. There we go. I don't know. Would it would that be crazy lucky if that was the one? I think that is the one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we just do that? It's the ruler of the great sea. All right, ladies and gents, no cuts needed. That's it. We're done. We just got them in a matter of back to back, just about. So there we have it. That's really all you need to do. All the other small fries inside the pond, you don't have to worry about them. We're done. And we did it within a matter of five minutes. That's crazy. I don't know. But of course, individual results may vary. And if you guys take my advice over here, wait for the spawns to show up. If you get something gigantic like we saw right over here, then you're all good to go, then go for it. If the spawns are super small, little fish like there, just exit out and then try again. It's as simple as that. And you guys can get this thing very, very easily if you just do this. Wait for the six spawns, seven spawns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, nothing. So we're going to keep on going. But of course, I've already fished it and I don't know if they're going to be able to show up again. I don't know if you can keep on doing that. I mean, what's the point? Honestly, there is no point. Um, but anyway, that's really it. That's all you got to know. So Guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. It was a little bit of a shorter video, but nonetheless, super cool. And you were able to absolutely do the fishing. So what did you guys think? Um, outside of fishing out one trophy per fishing spot and like one golden fish that was actually a toad in disguise, there's really nothing else to do in the fishing area. And that's a little unfortunate considering the fact that I don't know, the entire uh, Animal Crossing game has like 80 different critters and out here there's literally only two different critters that you can catch. Either a blooper or a cheap cheap. There's no like green cheap cheap or like a golden one. There's nothing like that. So it kind of makes me feel that the entire fishing sim for Paper Mario the Origami King was more of an afterthought and it wasn't really fleshed out. Honestly, I would have loved to have gone here for hours on end trying to catch elusive fish and spawn rates and stuff like that. Something extra to do, you know what I mean? I think that would have been amazing. But anyway, that's just me. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys do so. It only takes one click and you can join us. We're on the way to getting 1 million subscribers in the year 2020. Let's go. Let's power through it. It's going to be amazing. And like I said earlier, I definitely invite you guys to click on my main channel page and definitely take a look at the playlist so that you guys can play along with Paper Mario the Origami King 100% of the way, getting all of the trophies. I'm going to be working very hard to get you guys a little bit more more tutorials about all of the other trophies and some other tips and tricks videos. So make sure you guys are on board with that. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.